Two more left. Thank you very much for coming out today. Nice to see you here. I've been sitting here for all so long. I get to tell you the same old song. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mad Caddy's philosophy is we go anywhere where there's fans. Or anywhere where people call and say, come here, we go. We come out to try to have a good time. And, we, and so as long as people are partying, you know, whether it's in Asia or in South America or some places. I think after so many years, when you play so many shows, you know what your most popular songs are. And so we did the consensual selections and we asked the people, but of course we ask, but we already know this is the album that you're going to see represents the band. We try to pl play some songs that people might not know so much, but we never say, oh, only new songs and our old songs are crap or whatever, because people like us for, you know, even if we played it a thousand times and after year and year, sometimes when you, pl you, make, you have to make the people happy. And if the people are happy, we're happy. The song is about the, the security guards, and most of the time, security guards are big uh, assholes. The, st the, the story behind the song is that the Toots and the Maytals, the old reggae band, they wrote a song called Monkey Man. Then the Specials, another band, covered that song. say big big monkey man talking about the security guards and at that time we probably just started drinking at bars and there's probably some fights with security guards and so that's kind of where that song came from <laughs> we can make some money to survive but it's you know, it's not like uh, we're out there buying a Mercedes or anything like that, of course, you know? So it's a normal job. Everywhere. We've been to every, you know, like, uh, we've been to Tasmania. <laughs> you know, we've been to places, crazy, crazy places. And, and that, and of course, along with, with traveling, goes meeting the people from those places. And now in my phone, I, if anywhere in the world that someone drops me off in the world, I have somebody I can call. And so I can't really blame Americans, but I think us as a band, we've been able to see how the world views us. 
You know, there was many years where you didn't even want to say that you were from America. The idea of punk rock to me is not just about a style of music, you know, it's about a mentality. Just standing up for what you believe in and all that stuff. I mean, reggae music, jazz music, so many other, country music, there's, that attitude is in every type of music. And that attitude is what I enjoy. <laughs> been recording for off and on for the last year we already have some songs recorded and uh, we're gonna be finishing it up in the next couple months hopefully try to get it finished by January the earliest that it would be out would be uh, you know spring early summer but yeah we're definitely working on it and we have been for a while so we already have a good idea of the record <laughs> If I stopped working at 60, I would be very, very, very sad. Yeah, I could never imagine. Retiring would, that's a word just to me sounds strange. You retire when, when the day you die.